Hey! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming again. Um, I hope you guys had a really good Memorial Day weekend. I know we had a ton of really good weather, which was nice because we've been having a ton of rain here in New Hampshire. Um, if I look a little like off color wise, it's because um, we changed kind of like our furniture around. So now I'm like sitting somewhere else and I might actually need to sit somewhere else when I film because I've just been using natural light and today it's actually raining so it's kind of like so if I look weird that's why I'm not actually this pale and yeah I decided to get a pimple and my makeup this eye probably looks dark because my makeup anyways we're just not gonna talk about that but I hope you guys enjoyed the last video that I uploaded with my friend Nikki um I thought I'd do something fun so uh somebody commented um asking about like a secret challenge so I think we might try and do that um, in June sometime so keep a lookout for that. We are almost to 100 subscribers. I looked at my subscribers this morning and I was like oh my god I think we're at like 96 or something but I totally am like so excited and I just want to say thank you to all my supporters so far and people who've been watching me um, since like day one and um, thank you like it's awesome. So make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, let's just get into this video now. I want to talk about the Motif Duo. I've been using this pump for a couple of weeks now and so I am going to link up above the unboxing of this video and um, a couple of other like pump reviews that I have. I wanted, I was hoping to like find more of the parts to this to review it with you but for some reason I've like misplaced a lot of the parts that this pump came with. I don't know why, like I've just, you know, I had a baby so I'm crazy even though like I don't actually have the baby with me but anyways. Yeah, as you can see the craziness is still happening. Um, but I do have my trusty notes as usual so I am going to go over like my likes about this pump and then um, what I didn't quite like about the pump and then kind of like my overall thought. So this is what the pump looks like this is the tubing um, I actually just used the pump a little bit ago and I really like this pump like it's really cute and it does have a little scuff mark here because one of my kids already knocked it off the table and it still works great so there's a plus um, one of the things that I really like about it is it's really really quiet I feel like it's the quietest pump that I actually own like you probably can't even hear it, but let me turn it all the way up. Yeah. It's really quiet. We definitely don't want it on 10 when I turn it back on, that's for sure. <laughs> it's really quiet, it's really gentle. The suction is more like the Spectra pump. So if you're familiar with the Spectra pump, that's kind of like a more vibrate slower suck uh, where um, like the Medela pump is definitely more er, 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 and like not there's like no vibration there it's just pulling where this is like more vibration so if you like the Spectra pump but if you're looking for more of a portable pump I would definitely get the Motif because it's super portable. The other thing that I really like about this pump is that you can pretty much use it with any pump like I've hacked it so that it can be used with the Spectra backflow protector because I just like that um, kind of backflow protector not to say that this isn't a good one this is just like you have to like turn it to kind of open it and here's the little membrane um, I just like the Spectra ones because um, Amazon sells them and they're just a little bit cheaper so but I have nothing against this I feel like this would totally do a really good job and I'll definitely probably use this like when those my other ones um, you know have lost their life like I'll probably just pull this out and use it so you know I definitely love that it's a closed system pump um, it is covered by insurance I did get this pump through my insurance and uh, I think that that's fairly new because I feel like when I was pregnant with my second son they didn't have this they definitely didn't have this with my first one I mean it was on the market but I don't think it was through insurance so you definitely can get this through insurance and um, it also comes with a little bag, which is cute. The bag's like not the best quality, but it's not like the Medela bags, but it's still like pretty decent. I'm actually using it as a diaper bag just because it's like smaller. 
Um, but like it's not the most durable bag so my kids like don't really need like a whole diaper bag really anymore. I just keep it in my van. Um, so like I'm not lugging it around. If I was like lugging it around I'd probably use a different diaper bag but it is a pretty good bag and it definitely fits all the parts and this little pump in it. Um, it has a rechargeable battery which is nice. I love how portable it is. Um, the company website is really nice and well done. I like to put that in there just because I feel like if you're somebody who's confused about something and you need to like go to the website for information, if it if their website's like super confusing and just like not flattering in any way, like I just, that just to me like turns me off from the product. But their website's really good and easy to understand. It also comes with, I think three sets of flanges. I wrote um, two here, but I was just looking on the website and it comes with three. It comes with a 21 millimeter, 24, and I think, or 26 and 24. I don't know. It comes with the 21, the 24, and the 28 <laughs> um, flange size, which is awesome. Like, I've never seen um, another pump or company, like, put that many flanges in there. Mind you, like, I could probably do a 21, but that is still kind of big for, you, for me. But I think it's really great that it comes with all those sizes. So if you're a first time pumper and you're like, I don't know what this means, like you have a couple of options to kind of choose from. And this is like the bottle topper here. So your flange would go right in here and any of the Medela flanges will fit in here. Any like of the other um, kind of any flange that like is separate can fit into this, which is really nice. So you could customize your own size. Um, I do really like these bottles. I think they're really nice. I haven't used them as again, like I use the Medela bottles, but these bottles are still really great. I have nothing against them. I just am more of a Medela person for their accessories, but I still think this is really great. Everything kind of like comes off the top. Whoops. <laughs> comes off the top which is really nice so yeah it's also come with nipples too which um, I wouldn't need that but if you're exclusively pumping or just pumping once in a while for your baby you can just put the nipple right on the bottle I think that's a really good option so now I want to talk about a couple things that I didn't quite like about the pump and then I'm gonna give my final thoughts okay so one of the things that um, I'm not too like too much of a fan of is just the bottom down here this is so this here is where you would put your charging port and then these two holes over here is where your tubing goes in so you can do either um, single pumping or double pumping which is which is good like you definitely want to be able to do double um, the only thing is is that see how close these are like and they're really easily bendable and they eat, cut like the tubing just easily bends out of these little um, spigots that it kind of suctions onto um and i've noticed like sometimes if i'm pumping in the car or if i move and like my leg kind of like hits this up like that they'll like come out or the suction's not that good it's not like anything that i'm just like oh my god i'm not you know gonna recommend this pump at all or like i wouldn't get it it's just something to be mindful of the interface definitely has a little bit of a learning curve but the directions i do have to say are like really well um written so it is easy to uh, you know get like once you kind of figure it out um, if you guys are interested in me like doing how to use certain pumps like I can totally make videos on that just comment down below and I'll totally make a video on how to use this pump or any other pump just let me know one of the other things I actually love how long this tubing is and I do like how it's kind of like individual but it is sticky so it's kind of like this type of um, rubber that collects a lot of lint and I just don't I just don't really like that because then I feel like it's dirty like it's not dirty like on the inside but it's like dirty on the outside so it just like makes me feel like it is dirty again like it's not you know like a detriment I can totally get over it it's fine like I used this pump a little while ago because I really like it the other thing is the wall adapter uh so it's not an actual um let me actually just go get it so the wall adapter is like an actual plug. So this this little plug, like this is fine. It's just like this part that kind of makes it hard for it to be like truly portable in my opinion. 
Um, you can't like pump with this in your car because this doesn't come off like it's not a USB where I love that the baby Buddha has a USB port so you can pump in your car or you know if somebody has like an iPhone charger or any other type of charger that takes a USB you can use it so if you forgot like this or something you know you could still charge your pump where like these you know can't really be charged in the car like you have to make sure that the battery is fully charged which I do have to say this battery is really good it definitely lasts longer than my baby Buddha um, I don't think it's as long as the Medela Sonata but it's definitely like a good like two my camera just died um, but it's definitely like two two to three hours that you can get out of this pump which is really really nice some of the other things like this this wasn't you know anything bad I just feel like I just don't really use the accessories but as I said like I like using Medela 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 <laughs> accessories so these just kind of like sit around for me um as I've said in other like pump review videos I kind of wish that you could like just get the pump um but this is through insurance so they do kind of like send you a little bit more which I do think is a good thing like Definitely for a first time pumper, I think it's great that you get all of these accessories. For somebody who's like an experienced pumper or has pumped before, um, you know, it can just kind of be like a waste of plastic. So, you know, maybe in the future it would be nice if companies would just allow you to just buy the pump and like maybe the tubing or something or even like just the pump because if you have like the tubing already, I think this tubing you don't actually have to like sterilize or anything, which is really nice. Another perk. Overall, I love this pump. I definitely think you should get it. It's really gentle. If you're like somebody who knows you're going to be kind of sensitive to the pump and you really want to have something where you can pump at work or in the car, as long as the battery is charged, uh, I would definitely look into getting this pump. And I liked that it comes with a little bag. I think that that's a really cute touch. Um, it definitely is nice and quiet so you can pump near baby when baby's sleeping. Um, you can hack it so you, if you have Medela parts you can totally use that with this or you know whatever. It is like a hackable pump because of the tubing and the way it's sort of set up which I also really like. It's a great little pump. I really like Motif. Um, they just came out with like Nuna pump which oh my god they literally came out with it like the day after I got this pump. Well I mean yeah. I was like, oh my god, no. Like, I really, really, really want to try that pump because I really like this pump. But I can't, like, get it through insurance because I've already gotten this pump. And, um, you know, I've already kind of, like, you know, reached my limit with how many pumps I have. But I'm thinking of um, maybe, like, selling a couple of my pumps and seeing if I can get my hands on the Nuna. Um, it is, like, pretty expensive because it did just come come out but if you guys are interested in me reviewing that pump just let me know and I will try and get my hands on it or do a little research and see what I can find but I highly recommend this pump I highly recommend this company I definitely think you should get it or at least check it out because it's a really great pump that's it for today's video you guys hope you enjoyed it um, I know it was like a little bit shorter really I didn't have like much to say about this pump because I feel like it just was kind of spoke for itself it really doesn't have like a lot of bells and whistles which I also kind of like because then it's just like super simple and easy and you just kind of hook up and go which that's a plus right because I feel like as a mom you're just constantly like I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know you're just constantly on let me know in the comments of other pumps that you want me to review I don't know if I mentioned it before but I am trying to donate to a milk bank and I'm still in the process of getting approval through them and it's a really lengthy process and also the um, kind of pumping routine that I have to do is also like time consuming and lengthy but if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about that um, just comment below and I'll do a video on that as well but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you pick up this pump let me know and let me know what you think because I really do want to know and like if you have any questions or anything like don't hesitate to reach out because um, I definitely like helping and answering any of your questions so yeah um but that's it for today and I'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye